All right, so this is the weekly update for things I'm, I was able to figure out this week. So I'm trying something a little bit different. Let me know if it's something that, that everybody likes or if it's something that doesn't work. So let me know. So to start everything off on edX, I was still going through the, the curriculum from Siraj. So I got all the way up to NumPy. NumPy is where I stopped. And all these are videos that you can actually find on YouTube, to be honest. I don't have a paid subscription, so I can't get like a $90 certificate for completing this course, but I can still go through the, the videos and watch them. I can't go through the exercises because that's behind the paywall. So I'm all the way up to NumPy. NumPy is this right here, 4.1. And if we look at the syllabus, it's module four. It's the first one in there. And it only has six modules in this. And that's it. So that's kind of kind of interesting. So I went through the basic the Python basics, the data structure, functions and packages. Honestly, a lot of this is the same as my Udemy classes I took at this point and even then some of the things didn't make sense at that point but I've gone back to a couple different things and seen seen the videos before seen the videos one more time and also try to do some of the exercises myself and they they make more sense now now that I have more knowledge behind all this so so that's a plus let's see what was the next thing i was doing oh the website honestly i haven't had time to i haven't made time to go back to this it's not that i haven't had time everybody has time i haven't made time out of my schedule to actually go back over to this and look at this so uh what i have done is on a spare computer I'm actually going through and actually updating how I want everything to look like and I'm going up to the github page trying trying to upload everything and it's not exactly working out right so maybe I'm getting the push and pull confused or or something else I, I probably have to figure do a little bit of studying how push and pull works inside github because it's probably not exactly how I think so Again, like I said, I'm going to try to get back to that. Uh, a lot of my social links are actually going to be down here. Uh, like GitHub, all my repositories are going to be inside here. Uh, my Twitter, I don't think I have anything on that. Yep, I don't have anything on that right now. But that's me right there. That's, that's my whole account on Twitter at this point. And why is there three likes? Who the hell liked them? And who followed? Okay, that's kind of weird and weird. So this brings me over to the, why is that still showing as running? That's interesting because it shouldn't be showing at all. Yeah, it's not, shouldn't be running at all. So I need to go back through there and figure out what that problem is for sure and get that to not push up video anymore at this point because it shouldn't be. I don't know why that's still saying that. That's, let's look into that. I'm not live. I'm talking to you guys right now. Anyways, that's something to figure out. Uh, so let's go over to the third thing. I'm going to try to keep it at three major things each week so I can make these videos a little bit shorter than, than what they have been uh, lately. So one of the things that I was trying to do is I was trying to use Python to actually be able to cr uh, screen capture off of my desktop. One of the things I had to install was pillow instead of pill. 
because pill isn't updated anymore, pillow is, but it still uses the same syntax once, you're, once you have it installed already at this point. So I was going through this and I was working through all the different directions in here. And the first main thing that I was, I was like, I was thinking is I don't want to take the whole screen. Like for example, Dota Underworlds or Underlords. I don't need the full screen to be pulled in at this point. I just need a little bit. So if let's minimize this, this is the first one. So I can't remember where I got all this code from, but it was definitely something that I was thinking at that time. So what I was trying to do was I was trying to use this to actually pull in the video at this point and let's run it. Yeah, I think this was my problem is it didn't work. It didn't work at all. Uh, actually, let's Let's do this. Uh, does that make it work? Let's find out. Mm, no, I didn't. Okay, so it didn't work for whatever reason and kept on banging on it, I kept on looking at it, and I'm like, none of this stuff actually makes sense. I didn't want to open up this import through through Google and actually try to figure out and deduce what exactly all this stuff actually means. So, I moved on. Ended up going to, where was that? This one right here. I'm like, wait a second, this is a lot more smoother. This is a lot more condensed. This is more what I want. So I go over, let's, let's run this. So this actually looks better. This is, oh, that's, this is one thing too, is I wanted it to go to grayscale because I didn't want it to, to grab color at this point because it's, it's gonna be way easier going to 256 colors versus what is it, millions of colors? And I started looking at this, I was like, wait a second. So this isn't exactly matching up correctly. So the bottom is cutting off right after level. If you see on the left, like the original image itself, it, it has more of a space between level and the end of the screen. And on the right side, it cuts off right after feedback when in the original image there's like a lot more room on there i don't know exactly how much more room on your screen but there's more room plus the fact that over here you can see that there's some sparks or something that are flying off and uh, there's some animation behind this too if you look in the image it's not there so i was like wait a second so this is only taking us like a still image at this point, and I start looking at this, I'm like, okay, it is probably more than likely actually doing that. So I was like, that's not what I want. I want like a movie itself. So after I got done with this, I noted this right up here. This works for only a screen capture, not a continuous video. So I was like, that's not what I want. So as you can see in this script itself, let's get that out of the way. In this script itself right here, this is more what I want. Like everything that's commented out, this is what I took from before. I brought it over, I was like, there's still something of substance inside of this. I don't know what it is, but something is gonna lead me to the right thing here. Because I started looking on Stack Overflow, MMS, I don't think I want to mess with that. Besides, this is talking about a Mac Pro and Mac Syria at this point. 
but I was able to do this right here. This actually helped me out so much in trying to figure this out because then I was able to actually pull up, I don't think I have the, the website itself as, I was able to pull up the, the Python website and actually look at grab image and see all, all the different variables behind this. Uh, oh, this, this also shows it right here. So bbox specifies re specific region, bbox equals x, y, width, height, starts at the top left. So that makes it a lot easier for me. So x, y, so x, I don't want to move over any, y, I do. So I want to move, in my case right down here is 55 from the top which I think is gonna cut that the top bar off right there. And then I want a width of 200 and, or 1280 by 780. The reason why that's not 720 is because I need buffer in there for some reason, because it doesn't always pull, or it doesn't pull the same information or the same pixel information as it did before. So it can't be 720 because you're going to see in a second when, when I load this up. Also, I was able to, let's see here. I think it's this one right here. I think. So in SentDex's website, I also tried to see, yeah, this is it right here, to see if I could actually print up a list to show me the amount of time it was actually using to to record and display an image. So initially when I was running things, it was really slow, like ridiculously slow. It wasn't like I could see what's, what was on the screen, but man, was it slow. Like, I don't know if it was two to three seconds. It was taking a long time before the screen would actually update. So that comes into another thing later on. So we're, we're going to look at that. I took this right here and actually imported that right there. So last time equals time to time. And then there was another, these two lines right here is what I also put in here, which is what I needed to get in there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here's the, the comment for making it grayscale. I think this is actually what I needed. This is what I was missing and I needed to get that in there. So this is, these directions right here are actually for color still images, but it works for video also, as you can see right here. So print screen comma cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray. That's exactly what I typed in there exactly so yep so got that in there let's see where else time access uh, go in there okay oh all right so let's run this so what you can see is the far left window is actually sh or the far right window is actually what we're pulling from oh, let's move that over what we're pulling from the far left window so you can see the right down here the the sparkles are actually sparkling through it's not a one-to-one -one representation but it's it's pretty close to be honest i don't know how many frames a second it is but it it looks like it's going exactly the same like, granted, there's a translation to move it over to, to grayscale, but it looks like it's coming really close. If you can actually read the text down here and try to figure out how many frames a second I'm actually getting from the time that it took, great to you. Help me figure it out because I have no idea on this. So as I was looking at this, I was like, wait a second. So if this could actually be shortened down, if because I know rounding is actually a thing inside Python. 
could I round this down to like maybe the 0 0.00 something instead of all of this right here? Because all this is kind of meaningless to be honest. Like I just need something more, more closer to one second. All right, now I'm back. All right, so, so we're gonna jump into a game really quick. I don't think my sound is working for some reason. Is my sound on? Yes, no. Oh, there it goes, okay. So you can see that it it's actually, whenever I do a click over here, it, it's actually updating over here. Let's go, let's do that. So you can see it's it's pretty close. It's not, like I said, it's not one-to-one, -one, but it's pretty close. Well, let's take that guy, let's drag him over and play. So what I was trying to do is I was like, all those other numbers are unnecessary. So I was trying to go through here, try to go through the, the time access conversion to try to get the round function in there and I couldn't find it. The time I did put round into the script like I thought I needed to, it got put in the wrong place, it worked, but it ended up returning nothing but zeros on this. So the loop took 0, 0.0 seconds. That's not what I want, but it was still generating video like over on this window. It was still showing up. So I don't know what that was about. Yeah, this is the, the page that I was trying to figure out. Oh, maybe that, yeah, that it was in the print line that, that I was trying to put it. So who knows? Who knows at this point i i'll probably figure it out some point at some point i think uh where was it right here so yeah so this is an example of the output right there they were taking all these threes down to they were rounding it to two decimal points so it ends up getting rounded out to that that's what i was trying to do too it just didn't work so the next thing I'm going to be trying to look at is, let's get this guy going. All right, let's get that going. So the next thing I'm going to try to, to get going is object detection, because that's definitely what I want to get going in here. It would be nice to be able to get the object detection to actually recognize what one of these characters actually let's see here what one of these characters actually are it would definitely be good for that let's do that and let's go so yeah, it would be really, really nice to actually know what characters are actually on the battlefield. And maybe if the computer can actually start learning and trying to figure out some kind of strategy behind all this, that would also make some sense into this too. So we'll find out. So yeah, that, that's pretty much what I've done this past week, and we'll find out about this next week. Uh, hopefully, I'll get through the, the reading PDFs that Siraj actually suggested. That would probably be good to do. It's not it's something I, I made time for this week, but who knows? Like I said, who knows? Let's do that and let's move on. 
No, oh, get in there. All right, so I got two of them. Okay, so yeah. It might be something I'm going to be able to make time for this week. So hopefully we'll find out, and uh, that'll be in the next update for next week. All right, thanks.